Good morning, Dave. Uh, Well, there were a number of things that uh, were pretty bad, but this one happens over and over. And here's a situation where a big brand ripped off a little guy in an ad. And uh, what happened was that in 2013, in a book, Eric Dahl of Nashville tells a story about how he found a guitar that had been stolen from B.B. King and he found it in a Las Vegas pawn shop. He bought the guitar for $2,162 and he returned it to King. And King, who's now 89 years old, he gave him an autographed version of a different Gibson Lucille guitar when they met. And then all of a sudden recently, Toyota comes out with a 30 second spot that shows a young woman finding a guitar that says Lucille uh, in a storage bay and she returns it to King and he gives her an autographed guitar. Tar. So Dahl sued the agency and Toyota, and the agency is Sachi and Sachi, and the producer is a, a company called Smuggler, and um, he sued Toyota in federal court in Nevada for copyright infringement because apparently he had offered to share the story for a licensing fee, and Toyota turned him down. And a judge fortunately denied Toyota the right to dismiss the case the other day. Uh, you know, there's just no excuse for that. Well, I mean, it's not like you didn't see this coming. The guy did contact him to try and work out a deal for the licensing thing, so it's not like uh, this couldn't have been predicted. Exactly. Like, I mean, so many of these things could easily have been predicted if anybody had thought about it, you know? That's what they're doing in the worst category. So 